Hi everyone and welcome to the Unashamedly Human podcast. My name is Jackie Ford and I am an international coach, trainer and mentor living in Scotland but with a global practice. Today I'm with someone that I admire greatly for oh so many reasons. Um, someone who has helped me immensely, uh, both personally but also from the perspective of my business and I wanted to share this person with you because she's starting something really quite exciting to share what she does with the rest of the world. So today I'm speaking with Susan Wheeler Hall. Hi Susan. Hi Jackie. Susan and I have spoken before on my podcast but today you know our topic is is really completely different. For those mm -hmm. of you that don't know Susan, Susan um, is American but lives in Canada now um, and she has various aspects to it. I always like to call this a portfolio career because Susan just doesn't focus on one thing. She has a couple of things. So for me, that's wonderful because you're living on purpose. You're doing what makes sense to you to do and with passion. So Susan um, lives with a disability and has for many, many years through her very positive attitude and can-do way of doing things has been coaching other people to show them that you can live life positively even if you have a disability and she's been teaching other people and coaching them on all the aspects related to navigating life with a disability so I mean it's a beautiful thing to do but that that isn't all there is to Susan. Susan um, is just a whiz. She's a wizard, actually. She runs a business called Susie Webb. And in this business called Susie Webb, Susan helps people at uni create amazing websites. But not only that, and especially in this, this climate that we're all living in, Susan helps people at uni create online courses. Now, so many people, because of this global pandemic, are shifting their work from in-person to online. But a lot of people are getting really, really stuck in how do I do that? What's the best tech to use? You know, how do I create this? What do I put in an online course? What the hell is going on? And I've just been through this process with Susan. Susan built my website beautifully, and we'll talk about how she got me a uh, by the cuff of my neck and made me do that. <laughs> That's the only way I can describe it. Um, and how, you know, we've created the first online course um, at the back end of my website, which I would never have done if it wasn't for Susan. So again, Susan, welcome to all the portfolio parts of you. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. It's lovely, lovely to be here with you. And it's been great to work with you through all the different phases, for sure. No, oh, I know, I know. You know, Susan, see when you're working with people, what, what's, you know, to create a website or to create an online course, what is it that you see the most? What stops people the most? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, procrastination, for sure, is one thing. You know, people have an idea of what they want. Yeah. But they don't necessarily know how to get there. Right. So, you know, I try to kind of take them by the hand and and basically help them understand their own little stepping stones of what they need to put together. And the, you know, the building a website is very different than an online course. Mm -hmm. And certainly you need the website before you have the online course. And since the pandemic, of course, the whole um, e-learning has just skyrocketed. In fact, since 2020, the estimates has grown like 900%, uh, which is wow. like unheard of. Mm -hmm. But, and even before that, they were estimating that industry to be a $325 billion industry. So more and more companies, um, you know, like 50, 60, 70% companies are now relying on online learning to um, facilitate many um, seminars and education things they would normally provide to their staff mm -hmm. and so they're saving a lot of money by doing that but um, yeah the, you know the interesting thing about online courses and I started doing online courses maybe um, 
five years ago. Mm-hmm. And I actually started with just making my own. So, I mean, that's usually how I do things. I, you know, I get curious and then I try to figure out puzzles. And I was making a lot of websites for people and that was fine. I enjoyed doing that. But then I found I was getting, you know, pickier with who it is I wanted to work with, which is, um, you know, I just want to turn something off. And, and that got me, that, you know, it helped me to get clearer on a few things too, because, you know, I didn't want to just make websites for, you know, somebody that made hammers or something like that. <laughs> I'm much more interested in working with people that help other people. Yeah. So that tends to be my, my preferred client. Yeah. And, um, you know, and that comes from my own background. I'm um, a retired family therapist so Mm -hmm. and I always specialize as you say with disability so I really like helping people that help people and um, so I started with my own course I made a course called living well when unwell to help people that were you know adjusting to uh, maybe a new disability after they had a chronic illness or an accident and because that basically was the kind of work I did for many years as a counselor Mm -hmm. so I thought well maybe let's see if I can you know package up my work because um and I so I did that and so I used my own course as my learning model and um you know worked my way through that and then I ran the course a couple of times and um and it was really well received so there's two different aspects here one is the content and it was well received and that was great and it kind of allowed me to step back into my old profession, if you like. Mm-hmm. But, but at the same time, transition to more of the online work, what I was finding really, um, you know, interesting. And so it's hard to let go of one profession, you know, when you've been in that role for so many years. But so that, that really helped me to do that. And then after I ran the two course two iterations, I went more full-time into the tech. So although I do do some very small amount of, you know, coaching um, in the disability field, I tend to do more tech because now there's more and more demand for that. And and there are always new puzzles, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know. And um, so then the online course was really my, uh, became became my specialty. And I did that and I've developed a way to do it that is um, very customized, you know, because I like people to be their own personality and their own style to be reflected in what it is they're teaching because they're the teacher Mm -hmm. and people are usually drawn to them to, to, um, you know, to learn from. Mm -hmm. But then on the other hand, what I discovered there was like not everybody wants to learn about WordPress and to get into the whole tech stuff and all of that. But so I did create a course for people that want to do that. And that's great. Um, Cause that cuts down on some of the, you know, back and forth time with me because if they have the course and they have a good, good foundation, but this, then the same thing happened with the online courses. People are wanted, Oh, I want to have an online course, but they don't know, And I say to them, well, okay, how many lessons, you know, I mean, they don't know, they don't, they don't really know how to condense the information they have in their head Mm -hmm. into a learnable path. So, you know, and they tend to think they have to put it in the kitchen sink, (laughs) you know, everything. Well, I got to teach this, but, Mm -hmm. but you have to understand in the online learning, you know, it goes into the same sort of, um, premise that you would with an education system, you have to attend to learning styles, um, you know, uh, learning abilities, you have to be mindful of the amount of information, you've got to put in, you know, kind of like milestones of success, Mm -hmm. you know, and checks and balances, if you like, so that people know that, oh, I'm, you know, getting some in some learning here, you know. So what I, um, decided to do after being frustrated with a 
number of clients, not you, Jackie. No, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure you were almost there with me, though. No, you were there with me. Don't catch yourself. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you, you, you were very clear in what you were, had to offer. And actually, you did a, I thought what you did was really um, smart in the sense, for example, this course that you're just doing now on the, the um, exploring the missing link of the, of the three principles you know you're looking you're using the book as a foundation mm -hmm. so therefore you have the chapters to follow yeah so it kind of gives you a little bit of a map yeah so so that's what i try to do is help people sort of create their own little map mm -hmm. so that it's a learnable process you know there's stepping stones you're going to and and then just kind of looking at you know um you know really getting clear on the topic a lot of people like you know they want to teach you know uh, maybe auto auto body car auto body stuff that's a big topic yeah you know so it's really learning how to create small small in-depth topics mm -hmm. where people can kind of learn a little and then learn a little more mm -hmm. you know that kind of thing so that's um, what I tend to try to do now. And so to before I take on a client for an online course, I put them through this process to help them to identify these important things that have to be in place in order for me to truly build the online, the technology, mm -hmm. you know, the technical stuff. <clears throat> and what I try to do is be their partner in taking over that tech stuff. Because what I do is I don't just, I mean, there's lots of places you can just, you know, go on Teachable or Thinkific and Udemy and all these other programs. And, you know, you're constricted in what it is and how you put in information and how it is retrieved by the learner. And I don't really think that that always is what some people want. Mm -hmm. You know, they really want to have their own expression. So that's what I try to do is create the, you know, the really customized um, tech system, but then provide the customization that makes it easy for the client to use. Oh, Susan, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. You know, sort of when we first spoke about you, you know, about putting in or, or, or getting some kind of online course system, I had been racked with confusion for years about what system to use. You know, I'd got myself into the, the mindset of bigger is better. These systems are hugely expensive. Then there's all the add-ons. And I remember coming to you and saying, yeah, I'm going to use this product. And you just very firmly, but very beautifully said to me, you'll be paying twice if you do that, Jackie. The system I'm recommending, we can put that in. It's a WordPress system, put it in the back end of your, you know, your, your website. You're, you're learning about WordPress and you've been teaching me about WordPress. And it's the first time in my life I've been in doing all my own stuff and updating things. Not up, No, I don't update. Yeah. Um, but, <laughs> yeah, material. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Creating material and putting it in and creating products and blah, blah, blah. And it's such a wonderful feeling because I now have this, because of the way that you've worked with me, I have this gorgeous playfulness and curiosity about the tech side of my business that I never, I've never, ever had it before. There's always been, the people that I've worked with before, they haven't been as communicative as you, they haven't been as open as you, they haven't been as helpful as you. You know, and, 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 and these are key things when you're working with someone, when you're putting your heart and soul and saying, I want to create this. This is, this is I'm, I'm, I'm putting me into a website. Mm -hmm. I'm putting me into this course. So the lovely thing was with my website, um, I'd, I'd sort of paid Susan a third of the money to start with me. And then I never got round to writing the material for Susan to put in the website. And this went on for quite a while to the point that Susan then got in touch with me, obviously very frustrated and wanted to get it done. And um, during the hottest weather in the pandemic this year, Susan had me meet her every single day for two weeks to write, to put the content into my website. And so I had this personal responsibility that I knew I couldn't show up without having sent you the material, the content. So it was wonderful for me because there was, I had no wriggle room. 
I had no wriggle room and that was the perfect learning for me to do that and mm. so you know it was created in you know just an amazing amount of time and I tell her Susan I love her by here too but because <laughs> it's that was it, fun that yeah was fun. it was fun and it, and it happened and it got done but you know the reason I think I, one of the things that helped me and this is where my counseling background really came into play because mm. You know, like I, I knew you really wanted to get it done. I mean, let you know, I'll be honest. There have been clients like that that I've said, like, we're not going to finish, mm -hmm. you know, because they're clearly not coming up with the material. And I can't, I'm not, a, you know, I can't make it out of thin air. But, you know, I knew you more mm -hmm. personally. And we'd already had a nice connection. And uh, I thought, well, I think Jackie needs a little gestalt therapy. <laughs> which I is not my style as a rule. Certainly applied it, darling. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought, well, let's just give this a try. And it worked because I knew you were invested in getting it done. But once you once I did notice that once you started to see it come into play, yes. Yes. then you were more willing to show up every day. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And I've, I've, like you said earlier, Susan, this thing about we all have different learning styles or different ways that we prefer. For me, I'm very visual. I love, I love, if I can see a framework, I'll, oh, I get so excited and I can imagine, you know, but, but it's sometimes difficult for me to see that yeah. if, if I don't have that, that framework. And in that, then I get lost in the, you know, the big picture rather yeah. than being able to chunk it down. Yeah. And I've always yeah. been that way that if I can chunk it down, then I can work it out. But if I've just right. got the big picture, I've got so many ideas going mm -hmm. through my head all the time. That I pay well, the one, the one thing, to. <laughs> but it was really interesting. I mean, cause I work with you in a very different way than I have anyone else mm -hmm. in the sense that, I mean, I actually, you know, we were behind the scenes together building yes. it at the same time, mm -hmm. which normally I wouldn't do because it's very time consuming. And, also, you know, and also you're kind of giving away your own tricks, really. But, you know, I was really invested in getting this done and I could see you needed to see it visually come together. So by, you know, actually doing it with me, like you were right over my shoulder basically yeah and then tell me no 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 you know I want this on the left and that on the right and yeah so you know and then and then you actually learned the tools by watching me build your own website yeah no it was it was the best experience Susan I mean it really was the best experience and that's where this playfulness has come from for me to go in and play I mean I mean yeah. and I'm not even talking about the fact that you've created these gorgeous little web um, videos for me so you know if, if I get stuck Susan's created these gorgeous little videos in, in my dashboard I can mm. I learn how to make a coupon I know how to move a blog post I know I mean yeah. it's beautiful that, that I mm. it's some web designers or you know people who, who who create or developers they want to create an interdependency yeah so that you always have to go back to them what I love about you is you were teaching me so that I could do it myself. And then the things that I can't do, I go, Susan, can you help me? And then you're so gorgeous. You're like, come on, I'll show you. And then mm -hmm. you show me, you know, some of them I would attempt, some of them I wouldn't attempt. But but that in itself, that nurturing, caring, it's, it's a loving attitude, Susan, to help me bring or birth the idea that I had mm -hmm. and I wanted to put out there, which was huge for me because I really had been let down by so many people who said they were going to do yeah. websites and all these things for me and people who told me to buy you know these these products and the products were really expensive and I didn't need mm. them at that stage in my journey but you yeah. just kind of pulled me by the ear and you're like no Jackie you don't need that why don't you try this you know instead of doing that yeah. And we're not even started talking about the online course yet. You know, that, that was just you with, with, with my website. And then Susan suggested, you know, suggested to me because I'd been using kind of email funnels to deliver courses that people had done. And I was storing my videos in Vimeo and, you know, storing other stuff in Amazon or in Dropbox so that I could deliver it. And Susan just said to me, well, why don't we do this? And I thought, well, do you know what? I've got most of the material for this exploring the missing link. Why don't we start with that one? 
Mm. And Susan immediately says, I'm going to create you a template. So here we go in at the back end of the website together. And Susan creates me this template that I've got for all of my online courses. Mm. And she shows me what to do and how to do it. So it's just amazing and it's simple and it's wonderful. And I'm so grateful, Susan. Oh, that's good. Well, it, and it does reflect you. I mean, the whole idea of making the template with making the lesson template, because I do a combination of making the template, but also making very uh, um, custom information units. So what that means in simple terms is create a template, but then I make an area for Jackie where she puts in, this is where you put the content, here's the box you put the video in, here's the box you put the audio in, and then it will magically appear in the right spot on the template. It so doesn't matter what lesson you're in, they will all have that consistency. Mm -hmm. And the consistency is another part of the attending to the learning styles. Mm -hmm. You know, taking, you don't want someone to go to a lesson and it's like, oh, where's this, where's that? You know, it's the same as like, you know where your, you know, your scissors are and you know where your pots and pans are, they're in the yeah. same place. Absolutely, yeah. and, it, and it was gorgeous. Susan was on the first call. We've just started the Exploding the Missing Link course um, and I'll be running again next year. If any of you guys you know, missed it this time, you want to come on it next time. But while Susan was on the call, we asked everyone at the beginning, how are you finding the online portal? And the words that came back from everybody was, oh, it's intuitive. Oh my gosh, there's amazing material. The cartoons are wonderful. You know, it, it's kind of like, there was audios and videos and writing. So whether you were someone who learns by hearing something, or reading something or mm -hmm. watching something, everything was there for you. We haven't quite got to smelly vision yet, but you know, <laughs> maybe one day we'll get there too. But it was like all of the senses were being bathed in this gorgeous template, personal template that Susan had created for me. And then this intuitive online course for people. And it's beautifully set out. I mean, it really, really is. I keep going back in and having a look at it. And it's like, oh, it's mine. Because <laughs> it's just so lovely. Well, and it's nicely, it's, it's nicely organized too. And, you know, and, and you mentioned about the uh, dashboard videos that I leave, make for you, the how-to, it's the how-to area. And... There are systems like other web designers can, you know, we have access to these sort of, you know, cheap and friendly mm -hmm. videos that we can put in people's dashboards, uh, but they're very generic and they're rushy, rushy. One thing I'm not is rushy, rushy, mostly because my, you know, my vocal system doesn't allow that. But I've found that by putting in to the dashboard, the how to's, if I make it using your own website, then you know exactly what to look at and exactly what to find. Whereas if I put it in on just a generic website, sometimes making that, you know, that crossover is a little harder. So I, I think the biggest key is, is, you know, trying to step into your shoes, the person I'm working with, and, you know, understanding that, you know, they don't know what I know. So let's, you know, and scale down and go the steps that you know that they need, you know, that sort of thing. And it's the same way to go about a course, because a lot of people take for granted the information that they have. You know, they think, oh, well, I, you know, I, of course, they're going to know that. No, there's, there, there is no course. Yeah. So it's, you know, really kind of trying to remember when you didn't know. Yeah. I love that, trying to remember when you didn't know. You know, and, and, and I was thinking, Susan, about, you know, sort of I spent years as a trainer in the pharmaceutical industry, creating courses for people, delivering the courses, monitoring the effectiveness, you know, and so putting a course together doesn't frighten me, you know, in terms of breaking it down. But I know you mentioned that in the beginning, that frightens people, doesn't it? Because again, like I said, you know, some people are very big picture and they find it hard to chunk it down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting. Um, I find a lot of the, 
you know, I think we all have beautiful skills that we're not even really aware of. Mm -hmm. And I know one of the skills that I have comes from my disability. You know, I've lived with disability all of my life. So um, some things, some abilities I have to really play very close attention to. Mm -hmm. So what I could do two years ago, I can't do today kind of thing. Yeah. And along that path from the two year pattern or time frame, you know, it's becoming really really aware like where exactly do I place my foot where exactly do I grab the wall you know little things that can make a big difference mm -hmm. and and so it's I'm very keenly aware of some of those things so that gives me a great sense of really paying attention and listening to people mm -hmm. but also I'm a really good problem solver because you know I mean um I think I did a little video on doing up buttons you know where you know during the like how I lost that ability because of my uh, progression in my dis my disease but you know I in through that process I learned to, to do buttons up six different ways mm -hmm. you know whereas everyone else they think just one way yeah you know so it's by really breaking it down because of my ability changes mm -hmm. I learned to do you know do do it different ways. I mean, one, I can tell you that's extremely silly. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I was a young woman working in an office and, you know, wearing blouses and whatnot, um, I used a shoelace. Mm -hmm. I would put the shoelace through and pull the other button and pull it through with the shoelace. I mean, it's, you know, really took some time. It was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you got the desired effect, didn't you? So Yeah, and it was, you know, so that's like the sense of problem solving. Mm -hmm. So it's really kind of helping people. Okay, you've got a topic. And then what I do is I help them. I flip it up. Yeah. Let's work backwards. You need to know where you want your, your learner to be at the end of the course. Mm -hmm. So what do you want them to walk out the door with? You know, what skill, what understanding, you know, what whatever it is. So it's working backwards. No, it's beautiful, Susan. And, and, and I, what I've always loved about you is your natural sense of curiosity, mm -hmm. you know, about people because you know you, you're, you're, you're a trained therapist and you understand about the understanding that I teach about the principles, you understand that too. But you enjoy working with people, you're very intuitive about people. And so you don't take this one size fits all approach. Otherwise, no. you would never have worked with me in the way that you've worked with me. And, mm. you know, I, I wouldn't be here having this conversation with you, delighted with my website, delighted with, you know, what's been set up to help me do these online courses and create them myself and delighted to continually be chatting with you. And, you know, d d d from all of this, we had a friendship before, but from all of this, there's just a deeper sense of, of friendship and love and understanding because I really appreciate you, Susan. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. you as well. Thank you. But you know, it's it's really exciting because I mean, like when I see, you know, you'll you know send me a little message. Look, I just made a new page, <laughs> and you know, and I like I get the same delight in seeing you do that. You know, yeah. it's like I guess you know it's it's just wonderful to see that someone actually has taken on the learning and is you know, getting the joy out of knowing how to do something, you know, new that they didn't think they could do before. Yeah. You know, and it's true. I hear it all the time. People that have been ripped off yeah. you know, websites, totally. and, you know, they're like waiting like four or five days for someone to write back just so they can change a word on their website. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I, I mean, living with disability, I'm all about understanding the need for independence. Mm -hmm. So no, I don't want someone to be having to, to do that with me. I want to foster independence and growth. Mm -hmm. And that's where I differ, you know, and I'll take that little extra time to help a client get there. And the funny thing is, you know, other web people that I see do that, it, it actually, I think, works against them. But yeah, they maybe have to wait, the person will get there to change the the word or whatever whatnot mm -hmm. but they're not going to really explore and bring them more business because they're kind of pissed off with them yeah you know yeah. whereas i most of my like i had never advertised all of my my business has been built one 
website at a time, word of mouth. Mm -hmm. And then I offer management, helping people. And everyone is a different level. Some people like you, you're very good. You, you know, you're really on your way here. Because I can see you creating more and more courses and more and more products. And you can see that it's all possible. Yeah. And, and the beauty is, is that we need to be realistic and understand that our websites are now our brick and mortars. Yeah. You know, so if you're going to, if you're taking your business seriously, mm -hmm. then you need to have a good functioning website that is dependable for you and for your clients. Sorry. I had a feeling she would do that. You could just edit that out. <laughs> um, you do. You need a functioning website. I'm sorry, my, my daughter just FaceTimed me there. <laughs> She's got a habit of doing that. And I'm just going to keep it at the podcast because that's life in the 21st century, especially during whatever. Um, so... I know my website is sound. I know what you've built for me as a course is sound. And I couldn't be happier, Susan. And I know that you you work with, is it Rudy from Any Evolution as well? So a yes. lot of his stuff you've been doing with him too. Yeah, so I do, he, do his website, yes. Yeah, so it's kind of like you're not you're not messing about here. You're you're in there and you're, you're creating amazing mm -hmm. stuff. I know that you've got an event coming up and this is the reason I wanted you on the podcast, Susan. I wanted you to be able to share with people this event because I would love them. Well, selfishly, I don't want them to work with you because I might get less time with you <laughs> and I just love the time we hang out. But at the same time, I am going to be magnanimous and share you with the world because I know there's a lot of people out there and especially people listening to this who want to create something online and they just don't have the tech they don't have the understanding they don't have the wherewithal and I know that you're doing something soon that you would love to invite them to I would yes well and it goes back to the online coursing because um as I'm saying like a lot of people will come to me wanting to do an online course but they don't have all the pre prepared materials so they're not clear on what it is they want to teach how they want to teach it and all these learning this learning path that I'm talking about so I thought, well, maybe that's, you know, and I like, and I love teaching. So I thought, well, maybe I need to, you know, do a little pivot here mm -hmm. um, because I'm doing, I'm finding I'm doing less website building per se right. and more teaching because I love to see people learn and to grow. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, all right, so before I take on any more online learning, building course sites, um, maybe I need to, you know, find a way to let some people know, here's how to build your foundation first. Because if you don't have a blueprint, you're not going to have a very good house. Simple as that. So, you know, I want to um, do, a, a, do a, so I'm going to do a little webinar on December the 10th mm -hmm. at uh, 1130 a.m. Eastern time. That's my time, 430 UK time. And um, I'll do a, an hour presentation on how to go about, you know, determining your topic and, and, and really looking at creating that learner's path. How can we do that with the material that you want to teach? So that's what the core the webinar will focus on. And then of course, some time for questions and whatnot. And I decided not to make this a free webinar because there's so many free webinars out there, which is great. But I really only want to work with people who are serious about creating their online course. Because yeah. those are the people I really want to help. Because mm -hmm. I want to help people who want to help other people. Yeah. So it's a very small cost, $25. It just, it's basically just a token to let me know that they're serious mm -hmm. about wanting to do this. And, um, and, and I think if, they, if I can relay some information to them to help them work on their foundation, mm -hmm. that might give them the clarity that they need to know whether or not they truly want to do an online course. Because a lot of times people think, oh, everyone's doing it. I better do that. You know, so that's, um, you know, it's a business off, another revenue stream. And it, and it certainly is because, you know, a, a lot of people, you know, could benefit in terms of less 
you know, one-to-one -one work, making a course, that kind of thing. So it is a good way to benefit from your, your um, time. But one of the things that um, stops people from making online courses is not knowing what it is they want to teach and the tech overwhelm. So although I'm not going to be going over everything in terms of the tech in the webinar, but I'll go over just enough mm -hmm. to let them know how that can be you know, taken out of the equation. Because if they didn't have to deal with that technical overwhelm and you know, if they took that out of the equation and focused more on the content and their actual course, then it might come to free fruition a lot sooner than they think. Oh, absolutely. Susan Leno, I'm going to sign up for it, actually. <laughs> well, why not? You know, it's mm -hmm. it's not a huge amount of money. I mean, what's 20, $25 is like 20 quid or something here. It's so worth it for an hour of your time going mm -hmm. through this kind of thing. There's, oh no, there's... I would highly recommend this to anybody. And if you can send me the links and everything else, Susan, then for sure we'll add this to the podcast and I'll get that out to people, you know, uh, as soon as possible because I just think, you know, we have to invest in ourselves, mm -hmm. invest in our businesses. And like you say, get curious about, is this for me or is this not for me? Right, yeah. You know, so, yeah. Susan, as always, it's, it's a pleasure speaking with you. And I'm, I'm so honoured to have you as a guest on the Unashamedly Human podcast. And the Unashamedly Human part of this is, is really just you showing up as you has enabled me to serve more people. And, and I'm forever grateful for that, Susan. Thank you. No, my pleasure indeed, because like I say, it's just wonderful to see it all come together. And, you know, and seeing the other people, like, I mean, I'm in the course, um, that you're delivering now and seeing other people benefiting from the the course it's like wow that's great so like the technology is all working yeah you know and it's, um, so yeah it does take it takes time to really customize it and build it to your liking and your reflection but in the end I think it's so worth it absolutely thank you Susan my pleasure thank you Jackie